What's up, guys? It is that time of the year, and you guys have been asking for a video regarding this specifically, and that is furloughs. But before we get going, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below, and here we go. All right, so furloughs, I'm gonna give you guys what you need to know regarding these. A furlough is when there's not enough work for the people that they have employed at that time. So instead of terminating everyone or laying them off, there's a furlough. All it is is a layoff without the termination. And when business comes back, you know, traffic starts coming back to the rails, they need more people, you get recalled. Typically, you will find these happen at the end of postseason, you know, uh, Christmas, holidays, usually around the first of the year. Typically, during a normal economy, that lasts maybe a month or two, sometimes a little bit longer, not that big of a deal. And honestly, guys, this has been a common practice in the railroad since railroads became a thing way, way back in the day. You will find less people that have never been furloughed than people that have. That's just a way of life. That is part of being the new person out there on the railroad. Typically, in most cases... If you have over five years seniority, most of the time you will probably be safe from a furlough. Don't don't come back later on and say, hey man, I got five years and I just got furloughed. What the hell, you lied to me. I, I can't predict the future. You're thinking about joining the railroad. You're worried about furloughs. Well, at this point, at this juncture, you got two choices. Except that at some point, at least once in your career, if you hire on with the railroad, you're gonna get furloughed. Option two, don't take the damn job. That's all there is to it. Don't get mad if you hire on with the railroad and you get furloughed and act like it's some big surprise. Happens to pretty much all of us. Almost like a rite of passage, but is what it is. So the big question is, how do you handle a furlough? I'll give you three options. Option A, get another job. This is a very common one. Uh, it's usually typically the easiest to navigate it for the simple fact that you're furloughed. You, you don't want to move. You don't want to chase work. That's fine. You know, hopefully by the time you get furloughed, you have saved up some money and you can go find a job that maybe pays a little bit less. Tell the employer, hey, work for the railroad. I'm furloughed. I just need some work. Typically, you can find a job that will meet your ends for the time being. Option B, chase work. Now, chasing work is simply just that. You're furloughed. You're at your home terminal where you cannot hold with your seniority number. Well, if your carrier and your union agreements allow you to transfer or bump or chase to another terminal where they have positions on their boards that you can hold with your seniority number, then you temporarily relocate to that terminal, go qualify, mark up, and go to work. Now, something to keep in mind with this is that not all railroads allow for freely moving with your seniority. So check with your union and your railroad and see if that's even possible. At BNSF, we can do that in the vast majority of our system. Now, I'm gonna do another, a separate video on chasing work with some tips and tricks, but here's the thing with chasing work. If you do it wrong, you can actually end up losing money, but if you do it right and do your homework and make smart moves, you can actually make money and stay hooked up and keep your benefits rolling. The final option here, guys and gals, is option C, which is party slash vacation like a rock star. Now, hopefully, if you're furloughed, you've got to spend the entire previous year hooked up, working your butt off. And if you were smart, you saved some money and put it, you put it in the bank. And if you've done this, maybe you've made enough money, your bills are taken care of, you don't need to stress about a furlough. 
it looks like things may come back in a couple of months. Go ahead, treat that furlough as a vacation. Because let me tell you something, you can only do this pretty much when you're a new hire within five years or less, because eventually you're going to gain enough seniority that you're not, you're not going to get hit with a furlough in the vast majority of cases. And then the only vacation you're going to have is the weeks that you earn for the prior year. What my wife and I like to do is if we get furloughed, we're going to go ahead and maybe take that one vacation that was just a little bit too long for us to do when I'm marked up and not furloughed. We're going to go ahead and do that. Maybe spend a little extra time with friends and family or my nieces and nephews, that kind of thing could be a really good time to recharge the batteries before you get recalled and have to hit the ground running, you know, hard and strong. So guys, those are my tips, thoughts on what furloughs are. I hope that helps. Check out the next video coming up, which will be chasing work. You guys be safe. See you on the next one. Here we go.